Excellent. All right. This is the interest rate chart for the last several years. <clears throat> Shows where interest rates were and are uh, as of today. Actually, last Friday, interest rates hit 5% for the mortgage market. Now, they've been talking about doing that. It was initially by the end of this year. Then it was by the end of the summer, uh, by the end of May. And we've been saying it's, it's imminent. It's going to happen very, very shortly. And it actually popped that bubble last Friday. You can see where we're at right now. Actually, let me clear the screen. Uh, over on the far right, you can see where the, the pink line is. We've only had interest at this price, this, this rate, 5%, uh, a couple of times in the last 10 years. Primarily, interest has been below that. So uh, th this thing really kind of says it all. This is... this is telling us to affordability. This is telling us to the housing market out there and you know all the things involved with that, but it is clearly gonna have an adverse effect on the forward momentum of the housing market as it has been. Um, what you got going is a, a situation here where the Fed has been caught sleeping at the switch, so to speak. They have not kept up with the interest rate hikes that they needed to keep interest to keep inflation down. And as such, they've had to raise it very quickly and the market is pricing in to it uh, additional raises. Uh, they're talking about going up a half a point as we talked about last Thursday night, half a point for each increase instead of a quarter point this year. And uh, now they're talking about inflation could hit 8% this year, which would be uh, at least in my lifetime an all time high. It's never been that high. It, it was a crisis position in the uh, early 70s and late 70s when they hit about 6.5% on an annual basis. Now they're talking 8%. So uh, the only thing that the Fed can do to tap down that fire is to throw higher and higher interest rates up until it basically flattens the economy. It's going to do more than that, in my opinion. It's actually going to throw us into a recession. Now, uh, there are markets in the housing market that are, are essentially recession-proof. It didn't matter and hasn't in the last hundred years, whether the market is up, down, sideways, <clears throat> interest rates are high or low. Those markets are primarily first-time home buyer markets. So if you're involved in that space of the market, you're in a good place. Uh, first-time home buyer markets are always strong, always good. There are always uh, young, younger people, uh, you know, folks just coming up in the world in terms of income and things like that. And their drive and desire is to own a home. And typically the only thing they can afford at that point is what we'd call a starter home or a first time home buyer. Those things are still gonna be strong. If you're in that market, I would continue to stay in that market. Uh, if you are, conversely, if you're in the other side of the market, this is the second piece of news you can use, which would be the upscale suburban markets, I would stay away from those. Uh, there was an article in Market Watch yesterday, or actually it was over the weekend, and it talked about the fact that some of the bigger upscale suburban markets around Washington, D.C., New York, these things are actually going south already. Uh, you know, they, the, the realtor groups have been talking about, you know, maybe it's going to flatten out by the end of the year. They're actually price drop month over month in some of these markets. So uh, the, now these would be the upscale markets. These would be primarily in today's economy, million dollar plus Homes. This would be somebody who'd mid, who had been in a kind of a middle class, upper middle class neighborhood and going into kind of the lower upper class type neighborhood. Um, primarily suburban, uh, not in the city, uh, these types of things. Maybe a yard with some acreage. Um, prices that were a billion one, million two are now down around a billion, million one. And I think with this price increase, Due to the interest rate, so the interest rate increase, you're going to see those things continue to drop. So, uh, number one, how, first time home buyer market, maybe even a lower level move up market, would be really good space to be in. Upscale suburban areas, not so good. All right, number three on our list today of news you can use is the nation of Canada has put together a bill and they expect it to pass. Um, and be signed by the prime minister that will ban non-citizens from owning homes in the nation of Canada. Now, the reason they're doing this is because they believe that the price increase 
is due to the fact that there's a lot of foreigners coming into the country and buying properties in Canada as a safe haven. For years, uh, the, the Chinese have done that in this country. Um, some of the other Asian countries have been doing this consistently for 20, 30 years here. But I would expect if this thing passes, I believe it will, I would expect you'll see our government to match suit. Um, now, in my opinion, this is a misfounded way to keep house prices from escalating, uh, primarily both here and in Canada. It's due to uh, what I would call poor uh, fiscal policy, poor management of the government, poor management of the dollar uh, by the Fed, kind of asleep at the switch and just you know missed a step or too late to the, put out the fire to after the barns burned down. Um, but this would definitely throw a significant amount of cold water on forward moving prices on, on housing markets. Um, and, but one thing that it will hurt a lot is it takes away a large buyer pool in this country if that was to happen. And I, I would expect you could see executive action on behalf of the president uh, to make this a temporary and emergency measure uh, you know, to keep prices from going up. Will it, will it cap price increases? Absolutely. Will it promote uh, decreases? Certainly. You're, you're taking a huge chunk of buyer pool and primarily the number one source of cash buyers out of the marketplace. Remember, the, the biggest cash buyers out there right now are investors. Uh, they're the hedge funds who are paying top market dollar for homes that they're putting into these long-term hold rental fleets. And they're the foreign citizens who are coming in buying houses as a safe place to take their foreign denominated currency and put it into American dollars, which are still considered and is still the nation's, the world's reserve currency. It's still considered the safe haven. Um, so, you know, this could upset that apple cart. And once again, it's... Uh, to me, it's a it's it's a silly move. Uh, I understand why they're doing it, and you know it will have the intended effect. But this, I think, this is going to swerve into the law of unintended consequences category. In other words, the the negative things that could happen as a result would probably offset the positive ones. So, um, anyway, that's uh, news news for today.